All right, welcome back to Kimchi Rednecks. Today we're in Go Duck, Go Duck City. Go Duck City. And we are at, what's this place called again? Tojang. Tojang to Samgitang. <laughs> <laughs> Not Tojam, Tojang. Tojang. Samgitang. <laughs> wow. Samgitang is a uh, chicken soup dish, uh, which is served many different ways. We this, had Bokbunja. Maybe he's a little. Um... <laughs> <laughs> this place serves one dish. Samgitang, they serve it a bunch of different ways. It's so fabulous. We will show you that in a minute. So Samgitang has arrived. Mm. I've got the, which one did I get? Sumac. Sumac. Right? It's supposed to help with indigestion. I have the one that helps with people who sweat and are tired. Yes. <laughs> the oriental one. This oriental Sangha. and which one was that one? Sanghua. Sanghua. Mm -hmm. Sanghua. And then we got the the obligatory. There's some kimchi. There's some steam on the limbs. And then as you open, you have a uh, sweet rice inside. Oh yeah, it's oh, stuffed cool. with sweet rice. Yeah, sweet rice inside. I did not know that. Yeah, you have that's that neat. Too. Yeah. So. Let's get some chicken split open. All right, so look at that. Let's see if I can... Can you see that good chickenness in the broth? Sweet rice and chicken meat. Oh, it's time for some samgitang. Mm. You gonna try some? I am, but I'm first gonna get some salt and pepper in here. Put a little salt. Samgitang tends to be a little bland. Oh, that's one... Out of the pot. Like mm. a chicken that you could dip in. Oh, yeah. And this one to soup. I put some in the broth too because it'll make the broth taste a little more flavorful. Yeah. Try not to burn my mouth doing this. Yes. Mm. It's better than chicken noodle soup. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Americans. That's better than chicken noodle soup. <laughs> That's really good. Mm. All right, a little awkward really you, but yeah. try not to get unnecessary people in the mix here. So Let's they cook this up. chicken for a long time, don't yeah, they? Very oh, yeah. To be, like, so, to be a little bit of, Yeah. There you go, a little bit of salt for flavor. Just dip it a little bit. Mm. That's Since goodness. you have chicken already, how about... You gotta have some of your wine, Chuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm, that's goodness. You, how are you going to be wild tonight if you don't have your wine? There you go. <laughs> Cheers. Done. Cheers. Done. Bobunja. Oh, that's good. Good, huh? But they make you <laughs> one at once. So you oh, yeah, you'll be, be you'll be drinking this, you'll be fine, and then. Yeah, <laughs> fall out in the floor. It'll, it'll just, it'll just walk really up and hit you. That's really good. Like, sorry, dogs, I can't help you tonight. Mommy's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Radish kimchi is good. It's not too spicy. Did you try the the lettuce stems? Oh yeah, let's try this lettuce stem stuff. Mm, me too. I have had this before. Mm? It's like the lettuce spine. Hmm. Mm. So but this marinated. is what you have to be careful of. Oh yes, they're little, little bones. Little teeny tiny bones. <laughs> because this is a whole ass chicken in a pot <laughs> stuffed with rice and some stuff thrown on it. Have you ever There had... are bones. This is really, really good. Mm. She's gonna get you really messed up tonight. <laughs> Not with the only couple of drinks. <laughs> Maybe he needs a whole bottle himself. <laughs> <laughs> Is that too much? <laughs> or maybe half a bottle. By the way, etiquette lesson, in case you don't know, when pouring wine, technically the youngest person at the table, which is actually me, should be pouring <laughs> mm -hmm. everybody else's wine. Mm -hmm. But you don't pour your own wine, Cultural somebody fail. else is supposed to pour for you. Mm -hmm. So, even though I'm not quite living up to uh, my end of the bargain Cultural here. I think I'm the oldest at the table, so I should be... <laughs> You should be making sure mine's poured for sure. Instead, you're making Miss Kim pour all the wine. Shame on you. I am. I'm terrible. 
I'll bring bad name to us Americans. <laughs> it's okay. We still love in costume, so I understand. He should know better. So Melissa was just telling us that she didn't like the uh, the, the gamjatang experience she had. No. Because it was too much work trying to get the meat out of the bones and... Honestly, the restaurant we were at was probably a three out of five out of anyway, if that. I wouldn't know it was my first experience. I just didn't think it was good. But uh, she said the amount of work that goes into the uh, samgitang here, is it I mean, worth it? It's a little bit of work, but it's definitely worth it. The taste is amazing, so. Oh yeah, this this is good goods. Especially when it's a nice, lovely. Cold day. Zero degrees Celsius outside with a light breeze. That's all up in my face there, isn't it? <laughs> Pretty much. I said this to make you so I think this is good so, enough. This is plenty. The thing to remember is there is a whole ass chicken in here with bones. You've got to watch out for the bones. And you may think you've got all the bones. But them little ones will but sneak up on you. the little ones will sneak up on you. So just kind of look through as you before you put your bite in your mouth. But it is the goodness. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm Southern, but chicken soup, you got to step your game up. <laughs> so we had to call quits. This is a big bowl of soup. This is a big bowl of soup. <laughs> so we've got some herbal tea. It's called foya, you said? Foya. Yak. Yak means medicine. Foya. Mm. Like, uh, Med medicinal tea? Yes. We're going to be medicinal. Mm. <laughs> mm. At least it doesn't smell like most uh, folksy medicine. No, this is uh, uh, mixed up with the 10 different kinds of herbs. Oh, nice. Yeah. Let me see, don't make me pour this on myself. <laughs> it could, it could. You know, Ooh, that is hot. Of, yeah. Yeah, you have to pick it up with. Like this? That's why they give you this, Chuck. Ooh. <laughs> You're fancy. <laughs> <laughs> It tastes like medicine. Mm. It tastes like traditional medicine, yeah. Yes. I don't think I've ever had traditional medicine. Pretty much all of it tastes like some sort of uh, dirt and leaf boiled in a dirty sock. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> that whole folksy medicine thing is. This is good for this. You can't this drink. Is, you can't drink it fast though. No, <laughs> because it's too hot. Yeah. What's this supposed to be good for again? It's it's just like um. It called yak means uh, medicine, but actually it's not medicine. When you are stressed, when you are tired, when you feel, you know, like cold, mm. it's just like a regularly symptoms that you have. Like, mm. you know, just kind of a de-stressor and energetic. Yes. yes. Mm. So this afternoon you should be stress-free and energetic and apparently wild tonight. <laughs> Ooh, oh my goodness. I'm kind of scared now. <laughs> stress-free and wild. <laughs> And energetic. <laughs> I'll lock myself in the guest room. You're running room. around the apartment. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Kim's gonna get complaints. They'll be like, "Can you please tell them to stop running around the apartment?" Well, it's a very unique taste. Mm. But sometimes this stuff actually does do what it advertises. So. Yeah. I mean, it's sometimes little, you just gotta grin and bear it. It's bitter, <laughs> but I mean, yeah. it's supposed to be like an herbal medicine. Most herbal yeah. things aren't. What? Unless you add like something to make them sweet, most herbal things don't taste good. No, this one automatically f or from the herb is natural sweetness. Hmm. Yeah. So when you eat Korean people, they go to like a, like a Chinese style or Korean fashion style uh, hospital. Mm -hmm. If they uh, depress and discuss, they order this actually. It oh really? A lot of money. Mm. Wow. At least uh, from study four hundred thousand and up. It wow. Depends on what you put it in. All right, everybody. So Melissa wanted me to tell you the story of Bokbunja. So as I remember it, 
or as I, we looked it up on the internet, the story of Bobunja is a farmer who had grown some raspberries or mountain berries or wild berries, I'm not exactly sure how it translates, uh, got himself a bunch of berries that he'd grown together and thought they would, you know, make good wine. So he made himself some berry wine, which is totally not Korean Mad Dog 2020. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, he had to quality test the mentioned wine and drink a bunch of it, got hammered, and passed out in his little farmer hut. Obviously, if anybody has ever been out to the night of clubbing and whatnot and gone straight to bed, woke up, had to, shall we say, drain the vein. Anyway, so when you the look at the name of Bokbunja, it's taken from like old Chinese or something, but I think it was Bok... Is flip. Bo, Bok is flip. Boon is, is pot. pot. And Ja is person, so it's person who flips the pot. So he woke up. Had to pee like a racehorse, went over to his little chamber pot, let her go so strong that he knocked the pot over. Now, I've also heard versions of this where he had to pee so hard that he broke the chamber pot, which is the way it was originally told to me, but the internet says he flipped the chamber pot. So I'm going to go with the internet, because we all know that everything on the internet is true. Bonjour. In the entomology of this name, because this farmer dude got hammered on his own wine, woke up, and peed strong enough to knock over his pot, he thought it was a great idea to name it Bokunja for, shall we say, the feminine viewers who may not understand the or overestimate the intricacies of the male thinking process. You know, if you got strong then you can pee hard enough to knock over your chamber pot. That is total male thinking. So in other words, it's the very first little blue pill? Maybe. Although alcohol's been solving that problem for, for people for a long time. So Chuck, does, does a bottle of bakbunja make you wild? Well, it will definitely get you drunk. So it, that, hits, that, it that, hits you fast and hard. That hits hard, yeah. <laughs> Thank God we shared that bottle between three, eh? Yep. So... There you go. There's a little Korean story time for you.